eight times out of 10, you're not going to get a response. They're going to see like, right. like unknown number. They're just gonna be like, Oh, I have other things to do. I have other yeah. calls to take and other business to do. And they'll just hang up right there. And yeah. I think that's the most discouraging thing. It's not being told. No, I don't actually find that that disturb that discouraging. Mm. It's one of those days where you've left 30 voicemails and it's like, Oh God, like, yeah. like I'm talking to nobody. I'm talking to myself yeah. on the phone here. Yeah. And that does happen more and more with technology. It has been for you for the, you know, the last number of years with technology, mm. with, uh, with, uh, be able to screen your calls. Everybody has caller ID, voicemail, everything else. I mean, who picks up their phone these days if they don't know who it is? Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't, you know, you'll see all the time. Well, watch for my number. You know, if you have a new provider or something like that, so that you answer me, uh, yeah. because you may not pick, you know, may not have them on caller ID as a, as a contact yet or something like that. And so I think a lot of people do avoid the phone. And so you have to also use other kinds of outreach, whether it's LinkedIn or, or email or whatever it might be. Uh, I do uh, believe that if you're putting your name in front of people a number mm -hmm. of times, that that's a plus whether yes. you talk to them or not. And I think that's important for people to realize if you've left those 30 voicemails and you haven't talked to one person, uh, what I, what I talk to students about is remember that that's still something that you can take something out of and mm -hmm. you're learning as you're doing it. And so if all you got out of that call was learning, then it was still a successful call. Mm -hmm. And so you may have left 30 voicemails, but you also put your name in front of 30 people another time. Mm -hmm. And so after a number of times of, of leaving a voicemail or sending an email and maybe alternating with some of that, if you've got anything of value to say, then I think after a few of those, you'll get some kind of interaction. Exactly. Like there's people, people realize it. I'm like, I do it all the time when people cold call me, I I'll almost always not take the first one because mm -hmm. I don't know who it is. Mm -hmm. I see that number three, four times. And it's like, uh, maybe I should probably take this one. At least check to see if it's something important. Right. 